Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Tony Brown from the Legends Eleven. Tony, how are you doing? Thanks very much for coming on. No problem. Um, you guys may remember uh, there was a Wayside versus Man United Legends game there uh, recently enough that um, we had actually covered. We uh, got the highlights and got some uh, interviews with some of the players. But Tony, you you run that with a couple of guys. Um, what is Legends Eleven? And um, what what is it you do? Well, Legends Eleven was uh, originally the brainchild of Colin Telford. Um, Colin set it up, and it was basically just to live your boyhood dreams. Um, you know, play with your your heroes. Um, so we were trying to see how could we work it. So it was basically um, working with charities and working with clubs to try and raise money for for the charity and the club. And again, just to as a feel good factor as well to the community and to the area. And basically, just to raise money uh, for the charity or the club, I was involved. Yeah, and then last year you had uh, the Celtic Legends were over, mm. um, that was for charity as well, wasn't it? One of your friends. Yeah, one of my friends, um, uh, Jared Dillon, was assaulted um, on a night out in Carrick and Shannon, and um, he was in a bad way for a while, and he was in intensive care. And I said to his family, "Look, I don't care. We're going to do a game from Madonna. He's a Celtic fanatic, so I said I'm going to do a game." And we were kind of lucky, the way things evolved and the way they, we just got to run a look with, with, with the game, with players, and with, with Henry Larson, for example, with just a big stroke of luck. And it, it turned out to be one of the best Legends games I think we've ever done. There was only a bunch of guys in the gym that we got together when I, when I put the idea to them about doing a fundraiser for Jer, because we knew he was going to get, he's going to need some kind of attention and um, all around attention, all around the clock attention um, when he got out of hospital. But it was a fantastic day, and um, the Celtic guys are just unbelievable and could not do enough. You know, it's yeah, a great, great crowd. You know, and, and even uh, you really touched off off air, and I did see the photo myself. There's a picture with uh, all the players around. Or is it Jerry's house or? Is, is yeah, Jerry lives in Sandyford, and uh, I had said to the players, "Look, I have to call in <laughs> to Jerry's house on the way out to the pitch," and they were looking around and it's just to get a photograph in his garden. So. That would never happen again. Again, the players are great fun. They come in. They had a team photograph of Jerry's mother in the garden, which was just unbelievable. People are looking, going, "Is that Henry Clarence?" And it was so funny, but it was brilliant. And the lads were, were getting ball for that. You know, they were great for doing it for us. Yeah, it'd be the last place you think you'd see Henry Clarence in, in Sandyford. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was brilliant. It, it was just um, it was one of them great days where everyone just came together. You know, it was fantastic. Yeah, I was at the, actually at the game myself out in the Carlisle grounds. It was a serious turnout. And the same with the, the game from Wayside. I mean, you do get some really good crowds there. And the players do come. Like, uh, I remember there was Van Hoydong, Stubbs, uh, Tommy Boyd, obviously Larson, Petrov was there as well, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Petrov so, was there, yeah. Yeah, and then with the United game, you had Keith Gillespie, Dennis Irwin, Frank Stapleton, Clayton Blackmore, Lee Mann, the list goes on, Arthur yeah. Alvinson. Um, I know there's a, there's a game coming up now in a couple of, is it in a month's time or two months? Yeah, uh, uh, Blue Bell are doing a game, um, a fundraiser for the club, they're playing against Celtic Legends and uh, they approached me about doing a game and that's just gone crazy as well. Blue Bell are a fantastic uh, bunch of lads out there, Sean, New Sean Noonan and the crew out there have been just unbelievable, the amount of work they're putting in. I haven't been out in Blue Bell in years. Um, I was really impressed when I was out there with the, with the facilities and the clubhouse and the plans they have. Sean and the committee have great plans going forward and um, what they want to do with the club and it's going to be another set. There could be three, four thousand even at that game. That's going to be absolutely crazy. There's a, a meet and greet style uh, lunch as well in the clubhouse and we also have a dinner that night in the Red Cow. So with the, uh, what date is it? What day are we are That's we the 4th of August. Okay, that's, a full that's for the for the match. That's for the Celtic. That's for oh, sorry. That's for the whole the lunch the, the okay. whole day. Yeah, the Legends Day out in Bluebell. Be brilliant. And there's also q and A with Tommy Boyd, isn't it? Yeah, Tom Boyd is coming over on the 13th of July. Uh, he's doing a Q and A in Bluebell in the club, and it's kind of a mini launch of the game as well. Even though it's it's kicked off, um, and it's just a Q and A with Tommy, and uh, it's a free event. Like people just go in and and, and have yeah, a, we have a bit of a Celtic following. So if you have any Celtic fans out there, 13th July, where's the venue? It's in Bluebell. Oh, Blue in Bluebell Pitch, up across the road from the Red Cow. And um, again, that's going to be that's going to be a great night, you know. And Tommy's looking forward. To it. I had to chat with him the other day, and uh, he's looking forward to it as well. Q and A are great fun, and they're the lads are a bit more relaxed, you know. And they're they're with the Celtic fans, which are probably the best in the world, you know. So yeah. he's, he's looking forward to it. Yeah, and then you've got another game coming up. Is it September? You've got another game and another charity. Yeah, the Wicklow Hospice. Um, they were 
guests uh, last year at the at the Celtic game, okay. and they were so impressed. Uh, the Wicklow Hospice is a charity um, based in Arklow, and they're or sorry, based in Wicklow, and they are a fantastic charity. Danny Day Lewis is the chairperson of that uh, charity, so um, they asked us about doing a game, and we've kind of. On it, but it's a new new venture for us, I suppose. The European legends we've never done it before, so um, again, that's in the Carlisle grounds on the fifteenth of September, and the same format. There will be a lunch and a meet and greet and a dinner. Is Black Toy that night down in the Arklow Bay, so they're going all out. But um, that's going to be a great day as well. You know, it's fantastic. The place will be black out there in the Carlisle. Yeah, the thing I like probably the most is you were saying about dreams and stuff. Very obviously. Now I'm not a Man United fan. Um, I'd be I would be a Celtic fan, but I'm not a Man United fan. But even I remember I was out the night with you guys on the Friday, and I got to know the players as well the night before the game, and that was nice. And you were going through stories and stuff like that. It's just cool to have that kind of um, I don't know, camar- camaraderie with, with mm-hmm. players that you've watched throughout, over the years, and yeah. you know people are looking, going, "Oh my God, that's a player," and people kind of forget that they're human too, almost. And you're having chats, and you're like, "Oh yeah. my God." Yeah, they're very normal, and a lot of the players. Um, See, they come from that era as well, match of the day, the big match, when it was back in my, my day and I was watching TV, it's not the way it is now, it's Sky Sports, and they were my heroes growing up, like Brian Robson, you know, and um, Ray Wilkins, you know, Frank Stavelin, you know, just unbelievable players, and then when you see them and you get to meet them, a lot of them will actually say to you that we actually got lucky, you know, and they just playing for Man United, like any players we brought over, they've all won medals at the top level, yeah. they've all played in World Cups, European Cups, you know, like sometimes I met Jimmy Case before, and he was in me, he was in my kitchen, and I'm looking at him. That man has won. Finished as You know, it's unbelievable. So many medals and great memories and real, um, real nice guys as well. You know, and they love a bit of fun. They come over here and they're very professional and they're still kind of representing themselves in the club that they play for. But um, and they're good with the fans. I thought, oh, brilliant! Too. Yeah. Um, I thought, hey, like uh, we went to a couple of bars and stuff like that, and it was obviously the golf then mm. on the Friday with the yeah. with the United guys, and they were just they were very welcoming to anyone. Anyone came yeah. over to them, they gave them the time of day, which in this kind of day and age you don't really see as much. And I don't think when those players retire that are in this generation now, I don't think they're going to be the types that will come along and do these things with the fans in the future. Whereas I think this generation that um, are coming over now, they're great with everyone. And they just realise, you know, these are people. Yeah, well, see, football's changed now, isn't it? I mean, there's the manager may go around, even the players, you see them kissing the badge and all that, and then they're gone the following week if they have a row, or the likes of Robson and even Dennis Irwin and Ray Wilkins. I mean, they've all been with clubs for so long, and they play for football. And I think football people, I mean, I'm a United fan, but when I see Jimmy Case and I met Ian Rush, I was I was glad to meet them, because in my eyes, they were from the year or that I was from, and they were fantastic yeah. players. But when you meet them, they're just... They're great guys, you know what I mean? And they, they love their football. And um, I'm very down to earth, you know? They're very, very down to earth. Yeah. Um, is, is that all the games that are coming up then uh, for the time being? That's all for this just, year. Just announced. Just for this year, yeah. And we have a few projects for next year, just waiting on a few more things for them. A few, uh, one or two little things we're waiting on. Um, but yeah, it, it's going really well, you know? Um, a few more uh, phone calls from clubs for next year as well. Looking forward to it. To doing games with them as well. So there's a lot of plans going on in the background. Yeah, for, there's for a lot of stuff going on. on. Um, it's a lot of work. I mean, and I, I said it to any club that wants to take a game on. It's a lot of work, and you need a really strong committee, um, and a lot of help and volunteers, and a lot of sponsorship. You know, you need people to get behind you. But what these games do bring to to clubs and to charities is the feel good factor. 100%. Nostalgia, maybe. Uh, there's a bit of nostalgia. That's Frank Stapleton. You've seen Sammy McElroy last week, 64. Sammy gets man of the match. And his passion is just unreal. But you, you know can check mean? out the highlights when you nearly get in the fight with another <laughs> vlog. <laughs> yeah, but Dave, Dave Murphy. That's Dave, yeah. And Dave's a Man United fan. He got some, he got some uh, ribbon over that one, Dave did. But, um, yeah, look, they just take that football serious. But they're real great bunch down to earth lads. And they'll have a few beers afterwards. And and um, talk about anything football Man United it doesn't matter you know yeah um, I just think um, I think well thanks very much for coming on Tommy oh, okay. uh, yeah. a great chat with yourself there and um, for anyone that wants to know anything more about the Legends 11 you still have a Facebook page don't you we have a Facebook page um, regarding the games going forward Bluebell have their own Facebook page um, and there, there are there a web address as well same with the Wicklow Hospice um, well, I can games. drop all links down below anyway yeah, yeah, so yeah. go on 
yeah, all the games are um, you can buy tickets online or through the clubs. Um, the two games are. I'm looking forward to both games, the European Me legs too. especially, because like that's we're looking at maybe hopefully Viali might turn up as well. We've we've asked a lot of players, but uh, the the vibes are good. They like coming over. They like the Irish hospitality. The Irish guys, the Irish people are very welcoming and they're very you know, they again they love their football. Um. And they respect the lads that come over. So, yeah, it's going to be great. Looking forward to it. Absolutely. Well, Tony, thank you again. Thank for you. It's out. great. Great to be here. Uh, thanks for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Don't forget to like us on Facebook if you're on Facebook. And follow on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Have a great day.